I bet you are here to listen to the story about how a quake ranger got himself into big trouble. Be prepared. It was not the cakewalk he expected. And I can guarantee the slip gates were in fact neglected. So, come closer in and hear this tale of bingo bears, balls, and egos too large to fail. There will be a tarot and help to maintain the portals. What will an ill-fated tower card mean to this ranger mortal? Live action cake right now. Look at that. I, I am a cake. It's me. It's cakey giveaway over here. So this is the schedule today, and in about two hours from now, it's going to be O'Malley the One with a uh, with Ranger Talk. That's what that's what I'm calling these little units. They're called Ranger Talk. So in two hours from now, we've got a Ranger Talk coming up, and then uh, we will we'll be getting into some more games after the Ranger Talk, and then we're going to go back back to another boss battle orchestra. Um, that should be pretty good. So I hope I hope you're in it to win it today. Oh, Imp just wants to see those juicy, juicy. Look at that. We've changed it. You're helping. You're maintaining the slip gates right now, Toria. You might not know how important that is right now, but it is going to be very, very important as as the the, the day goes on. So it's like a mixed bag. You get when dirty wins, you guys win even more. That's how I want you to feel. My winning is your winning. My balls are your balls. When my balls leave my mouth, I want my balls to enter your mouth. And then leave those balls in someone else's chat. Like, it's all about sharing balls. I had a bingo bear moment the other day, guys. You guys ever have a bingo bear moment? You guys ever, you guys are ever in the shower and you slap your knee, you jump out of the shower and you say, wahoo, that's my bingo bear moment. You ever have those moments? I've had, I had that moment the other day. Thanks everyone for joining today. Today is going to be a lot of fun. Please ignore um, any slipgate activity for the day. Everything is fine. Uh, there's been some rumblings of Zotha Mog, you know, influence, spreading some influence through the slipgates. But you guys wouldn't know anything about that, you know. None of your none of your business, that's for sure. Are you literally just talk are you talking about Doug? Are you talking about 90s Doug right now? I know some people that would like to have... Yeah, you are. I know some people that would like to have words with you. We're talking about... trans. We're talking about Bingo Bear. I was talking about Bingo Bear moments. <laughs> Unplug, I don't want to hear it. I don't... I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I really don't appreciate those types of comments. Um, it's just a normal day at Dirty Giveaway. Do you have your alerts switched off? What alerts? I think I got alerts switched on. Alerts for what? Everything's been showing up, I think. I don't think I've missed anything yet. What alerts do you what alerts are you talking about, my friend? My alerts are. I'm trying to think what alerts I need to be thinking about. What alerts do I need to be thinking about? You got me all cut discombobulated over here. Everything should be good to go. Yeah, I'm slightly confused by what he means. Everything seems to be working just fine today. I went through and I actually tested everything. Oh, not yet. I will uh, just... I don't know if there's been any distress, distress calls yet. Uh, give me a second here. Everything's been fine on my end. Can't deny it. Oh my god, unplug. Unplug. I don't even know what you're talking about. What's going on in your part of the world? Last report, Ranger Unplugged. Everything was okay. You gave me a big smiling thumbs up. Are you trying to skew my birthday party? This is nothing more than just a standard birthday party, and here you are trying to, trying to do, trying to joke me. You pulling a funny on me? It's not an ass game. It's cool. It's cool. I shouldn't combine cool and ass. Like a cool ass game. It's not an ass game. It's a cool game. God, dirty. Oh. Hey. 
Yes, maintaining the slipgates. Uh, I don't know why all this contribution to the slipgate activity seems to be coming up today. It's kind of out of the norm for uh, what goes on here at Dirty Giveaway, but I very much appreciate uh, all of the attention the slipgates seem to be getting. Um, so hopefully O'Malley uh, is a lot of fun. I hope you guys like uh, sharing time with O'Malley. I've got some fun things kind of set up for him and I. Um, you know, stick around. It's going to be a tarot reading. That's kind of a that's kind of a weird one. It might turn into something fun. Who knows? I don't necessarily believe in all this stuff, but that's something that he likes doing on his stream, and I thought it would be a great way to include him and have him uh, featured. Widespread civil unrest and tumbling global markets as citizen and investor alike have lost faith in Dirty Giveaway's ability to protect us from the shadow of Zothamog. <laughs> Uh, this is it. Um, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us for the happy birthday stream. This is kind of my first uh, uh, time doing a bit. And O'Malley, it was very nice to join us today. If you guys aren't already following O'Malley, you can see his uh, URL directly below. Oh, I got to get my coffee. Thanks, Corona. Uh, directly below his camera there. Uh, O'Malley, I'm going to grab my coffee. If you would love to uh, give your channel a little promo or a little split, that would be good. Give me a second. Understood. Hi. As you can tell from my hat, I also go by the Milkman. I really like mythic stuff, tarot cards, anything along those lines, astral projection. I also stream games along with dirty, like FPSs or whatever we're filling up for. But right now he wanted a tarot card for his birthday. And so today we're going to go over some tarot cards. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two and we'll give him a full reading. Uh, let's see, what's, what's the name of this game? Yeah, hello, Milkman. Uh, yeah, I play whatever I'm up for. A lot of FPS here lately, but I also do horror games. Oh, O'Malley and I met because he was playing Ion Fury, and, uh, we both are very much big fans of build engine games. You guys might see that a little later on, uh, th this morning, or uh, this afternoon, or evening, wherever the fuck any of you f sick fuckos are. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, uh, we're gonna do a cross of truth, and it's to get to the truth of your uh, question, and it's a five card spread, and we're just gonna make a cross. So and then- it's gonna be what's, first of all, your question, where you come from, what you desire, what's gonna help you, what's gonna work against you, and the end results. All right, so I guess I should start with my question, guys. How can I better myself and find personal success? So this is it. This is this is it. I hope you guys are enjoying what you see. You can turn your head. Ow, ow. I just light all my arm hair on fire. Fuck. It's like there's eldritch forces against me today. Yeah, I got a, like a weird feeling today, but I'm... Yeah. Unless Don't the cards give me some kind of negative vibe, I'm not. Don't even get me started, man. Unplug's been going on about shit all day. I'm gonna have to start banning certain words in chat, like Zothamog. All right, so we got the magician at the bottom. That's where you come from. I'll go into more details about it. You have the middle, which is the six of cups. That's your desire. Uh, I believe the right, just to make sure. That's your helpful energy, which is the page of cups right now. And the left, uh, the four of pinnacles is your negative energy. And then your outcome will be the world. And we're gonna go over each one as we go along. I'm feeling, but I'm feeling some JoJo memes here, sorry. With the world. No, you're good. The world, dog. The world, dog. The world, dog. Do you get a vibe from any of this? That's always a good question to ask. Is when you look at all these pictures. It, it, it seems, it, it seems like just from what I'm looking and what you're telling me, do I feel stressed? No, I feel the opposite. Actually, I'm feeling pretty confident about these cards. Yeah, if any emotions stand out, that's like it's. Uh, I tell everyone when I do these readings, it's the cards speaking to you, and I'm just kind of the medium. So if you are getting a feeling from them, more go with that. Absolutely. Oh yeah, th those those cards look very beautiful. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything too negative. Good. But yeah, I was gonna say if you got a feeling from it or anything. No, I, I feel confident. They see they 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 definitely embolden me. All right, all right, we'll start at the very bottom, which is where you are now. So the magician is literally potential. Uh, he has all four elements. He has the cups, the wand, like everything in his grasp to do it. Like he has all the potential to do it. He just has to start doing it. So that's a really good place. That's a card to have. 
but you have all the skills already and you, you just got to start doing it which okay we're starting to see if the stream and everything else you've been doing is like you're slowly making the progress and like the potential's there it's not a hopeless endeavor like you could totally do it and you've been doing it so thanks thanks Ed. <laughs> now let's see since the cups is a very interesting one a lot of cups Actually, yeah, we noticed that you got two cups, and cups have to do with emotions okay. and feelings. So let's see exactly. Uh, yeah, what's... guys, uh, the, the Turok to Tarot, I'm just realizing how that, that's kind of funny. Yeah. I, I, could, I could do Turok to Tarot Tuesday, <laughs> where I stream two hours of Turok and two hours of Tarot. <laughs> Oh God, I love this type of shit. His cups runneth over, yeah. My cups runneth over small animals on the highway. That's for fucking sure. <laughs> all right, run with me on this. All right, all right I'm with you. All right, so the sits of cups represents nostalgia, okay? And your whole channel is based around nostalgia. FPS games, yeah, retro games. Fundamentally. It's this is supposed to represent like a fond memory or anything. You're literally making your channel out of your fond memories, and that's your desire. Like that's the goal is to make your channel out of nostalgia. I'm I'm getting shivers. Yeah, literally the Sits and Cups is like uh a, a, like a blast from the past some time ago. So the fact that you're literally playing games from your past with your stream and everything, and you make you built it all around that, and that's like your passion to be more successful. I'm gonna go with like that's your gaming. Wow, that's the, that's the vibe. Yeah, you. I. I, <laughs> I mean, the way the way you put it, it's hard for me to have any other comment than than a strong head nod and a and a furrowed brow lifted above my left eye. That's, that, yeah, that's the best feeling when that uh, brow lifts up. I do really like the art here. It makes me feel like I'm playing like an old point and click game. Like uh, <laughs> uh, it reminds me specifically of uh, I have no mouth and I can breathe, uh, like the wizard oh, character. I, I... Yeah. Oh, you mean that old horror one? Yeah, it's like a. The, I, have, I have no mouth, and I must scream. And I must scream. Yes. Yeah. Now we're gonna go on the right. We have another cups card, which has to do with emotions. Okay. And uh, of the courts, uh, it's like a jack, queen, king. That's what you'd recognize from like playing cards. Yep. So, the page is like a low, a low key jack, and it usually represents a person. And this is going to be your positive energy for this goal, like how to be more successful, more personal success. And it's usually a kind, thoughtful, and gentle, creative person. So, let's see. Or as an event, let's make it sure. Here's my love. Okay, cool. Uh, your helpful energy will either be a person, or you'll have people helping you out. It doesn't have to be a person. This, uh, this, the reason that I am what I'm doing right now and everything that you guys see is entirely because of Soapy Bumslap. You, like, entirely because will, of him. I will run, if that is the first name that pops up. It's Soapy Bumslap, yeah, my buddy Soapy, Soapy absolutely. 100%. You guys are all a part of this too, don't get me wrong, but if you guys want to see really funny memes like this... Baby's You've got people like Soapy Bum Slap to thank. Yeah, no, uh, that's the really cool part. Um, I was actually leaning more of scare for that one. It's like, okay, oh. well, maybe it's every. No, no, no. It's I was I was leaning that way, but that was my personal opinion, and I wanted to see where you went with it. And you went with Soapy, so follow that 100. percent Okay. He is your positive force this whole time. Keep it up, a hundred percent. Oh yeah. What what y'all been doing? Keep it up. The he uh, he was the he was. I finished all my work last night at like nine o'clock, and he was still finishing video edits until like nine thirty or like ten. It was awesome. He is a uh, since uh, you figured it out and you just called him out right there as like what popped up in your mind when I mentioned all that. And he is a very positive and strong force for your personal success. So I'm just impressed at how much I can get my eyebrow up over my sunglasses. Are you guys seeing this? Yo, keep it up. You look. Yeah. It's it's I incredibly like it. hard. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I don't know. How, I don't know how the the rock did it, but maybe he was on steroids. <laughs> I'm sure he practiced in front of a mirror a lot. Oh so yeah. 
I watched a lot of uh, uh, Rocky Maivia before he was The Rock, like in early 90s wrestling, and he's such a meaty boy. Very funny. Anyways, he didn't have the eyebrow or the elbow yet, but he gets there. It's like uh, anime progressions, you know? Sorry. All right. Uh, and next, we're going to go to the left, and you see it's like the merchant guy, the four pinnacles. Uh, pinnacles is kind of the opposite of cups. It's more about money. Like, they're literally, he's literally holding gold coins, if you take a look at him. And you see he's kind of shifty. Like, he doesn't want anybody to take his money. Yeah, he, he, yeah, you know, I feel that way sometimes. <laughs> I feel I like when, say, I feel like when I'm buying Transformers at Walmart, like, Walmart's holding my money like that guy with <laughs> When your card is like, you don't know if it's going to go through or not, you get yeah. a little worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can kind of see where this one's going. Uh, greed. Oh no. Be careful. Don't let don't let the money or the fame. I would say if you start letting that get to you, or you start worrying about specifics, numbers, views, and you let that dictate how you do it, I would say that would be a very negative force. Okay, that's, that's fair. That kind of greed, like it's when that card pops up, it's usually meant like, hey, you're you know. You're a little too cautious. Maybe you should venture out, but it's in the negative slot on the left side. Interesting. Opposing energy. So if you're more uh, greedy or like careful and more looking out for yourself in these situations, that would work against you in the overall. Uh, that is something that I do think about. Uh, maybe oh. not necessarily in such direct terms, but that idea between. Uh, my personality and stuff that it, it fits very well into an issue I could see myself running into if I don't check myself for sure. Yeah, I, I would say that's 100% just what it's worrying about. Yeah, it's like that if you run into that issue and you let that idea or feeling take over more than it is now, that would work against you. It, you it, know, it's there, it's yeah. a struggle. I mean, especially. I've got like bonuses from work and some tw Twitch checks and it's like, it's not like I'm rolling in cash, but like I see extra money and it's like, oh, <clears throat> how quickly can that evaporate? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's even um, one of those things like, you might change how you do stuff. Like that's fair. I, as, as a fellow streamer too, I sometimes think about like, oh, uh, you know, what's popular and I'll start to maybe change how I do stuff. Yeah. Like, I'm like, no, don't do that. That's bad. Like, I think that's also a way to take this card as well. It's like, you you stop being you and you start being someone else just because it's freaking in more more views and more of everything. Well, that that's even that's an even deeper and scarier idea. Another idea I've thought about it's like, do I eventually just become dirty, or or has it, okay okay so here let me take a quick tangent. So Swamp Thing is probably my favorite superhero of all time. He is like without a doubt the fucking best superhero. Um, so his name is Alex Holland and he gets, he's basically trying to make like super food for plants so that he can save world hunger. And in doing so, he makes this hyper, uh, this growth formula that makes shit grow very, very quickly. So long story short, somehow he doesn't want to give like a pharmaceutical company this technology because he thinks it shouldn't be held by a company. It should be like free for everybody. So Alex Holland stands up to him and he's like, no, go fuck yourselves. They send thugs, they beat him up, they take the formula and they, they burn him alive and they leave him for dead. Well, as he's like burning alive, he kind of trips and stumbles into the swamp with a jar of the goo. So he ends up getting enveloped by the goo, turns into the swamp thing. But, you know, that's just the found, founding story. That The reality is, the, the, the philosophical question of Swamp Thing is, is he the man that became the swamp or the swamp that became the man? So his whole character has this identity crisis of, well, is he Swamp Thing or is Swamp Thing Alec Holland and Swamp Thing is his costume? And eventually he kind of reaches a point where the ambiguity kind of resolves in that it's, it's basically the plants are remembering what it's like to be Alec Holland. So it is Alec Holland died, but he he basically became one with nature in a way that nature became him. Anyways, I've always loved that character design because I've thought like the dichotomy of plant and man or man and plant, like, but even the identities of like, are you the person that you changed? Like, is that still the person that you were or is it someone else? I don't know. It's a very, I, I like it for identity pol uh, politics. It's very cool. 
Yeah, no. If you if you become your persona, or if your persona is just a persona, or or if the person be... that you were is you were supposed to grow into your persona, and that you just never gave yourself the chance to become that person. So it's but 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 yet again, then then I go into the question about greed. It's like, you know, do I push one envelope further than the other because it gives me a different type of success? Maybe not necessarily like true personal success. I don't know. It's it. It's a tough thing to think about. No, it's a, it's a, it like, that's why we do this stuff to like bring up those like questions and stuff. And like, of course, it's really cool that it's bringing up stuff you've thought about and like how you feel. And like, we are, we, we do have a retro uh, trend going. So it's, cool. it's lining up pretty cool. I like it. Unplug, thanks for popping back in. Love that you're here. I, right. I, I feel like there's some messages coming from Unplug, but they might be a couple hours behind here. We'll see when they come through. Uh, I, I've been having some lag issues, too. I've been sending messages, but they just haven't been going through. Interesting. It's weird. Yeah. Where I'm, my headquarters, it's been weird here. Like, well, Unplug but, was complaining about Slipgate activity, but I've been basically on vacation the past couple weeks, so I don't really give a fuck. I, I'm sure, it's honest, fine. I don't even, I don't even check my, our Slipgate over here at the <laughs> station. I don't even mess with it. But he barely even put pants on. Come on. Let's go, Ranger yeah. O'Malley. Let's go. I'm just, you know, I'm waking up. All right. I'm curious. Uh, if you look at the world, the top one, that is our outcome. What do you think that means? What do you get a feeling from the world though? Well, I don't I don't know based on the conversation and the and and where I'm at personally, uh, I, I kind of see it as, uh, and yet again, language is kind of interesting when it comes to tarot. But to me, it kind of seems like uh, um, kind of like something. Uh, I'm trying to think of the way to word this. Um, I, yeah, okay, my comment would be unexplored is kind of how it makes me feel. Okay. It, it makes me feel like there's, there's, uh, and especially, I don't know if the position matters, but where it's at, it makes me feel like everything's kind of built into kind of a, a, a new thing that maybe I haven't experienced yet. And it's something that, yet again, this goes back to my idea of identity in that, Maybe that I'm looking at this world and I'm seeing that this is something that all of the other cards have helped build. And it's something that I, I kind of need to realize, I guess, or I need to understand how to realize that world. Yes. Sorry. That was beautiful. Yeah. Um, so the world by its, sorry, I got excited there. You um, did. That was, I, I'm glad. I, I'm, I'm not. So that was such a good way of just like going into it. I'm not a, uh, I'm not new to the this stuff i i, I took a religion degree uh, you know b b bachelor of arts so i i you know i i've got my ear to the ground o'malley i'm not i'm not no no smooth brained quake ranger i you know that's why you're the captain you, you lead us but yeah the world uh to put it in the most simplest form is you have the world in your hands it is literally one of the most optimistic cards uh you will find success you will Achieve, you won't get it instantly. There are cards that are just like, you're probably going to get some good news soon or some good stuff's going to happen. This is like, you built your empire and now you have it. It's going to happen. If you follow the path you're going on now and heed the advice, you will literally have the world you want, not the world, but your world will come true. I just want to look up Dio memes so bad right now. <laughs> I do too. Kinda. No. <laughs> There it is, unplugged. There it is. Uh, it's really cool that, that you like went kind of that way of exploring this new feeling, and I'm like, that new feeling might be like you achieving your goal and like having like your own. We've talked about building your own space. You might literally build your own world, and that might be a really cool feeling to have once it's all over. And that's the outcome I'm looking at. It might be the edibles, but uh, feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, uh, all of it together, it's it's literally, if we just start from the bottom and we go over it all again, it's you have Magician, you have the possibility, uh, your desire, you want to play retro games and live in nostalgia. Uh, Soapy is your main form of support. He is very good and keep that up. He's a positive influence. Uh, the Four Pinnacles, the Greedy Merchant, just be worried. Don't let worry and greed take your over your thought process, but it's always going to be there. And if you follow all of this and keep doing what you're doing, you will literally have the world you want. That's fair. That's fair. Just ignore Unplug in the chat as well. I don't know what he's going on about. 
Oh no, I'm blind, so I can't. Perfect. I'm looking at your pretty face. I can't stop. Yeah, I'm looking pretty good this morning. I trimmed up before the big stream. The oh, big I, stream. I want it to look as much as garbage. So like when people look at both of us, they'd be yeah, like, Yeah, wow, that's why I hate that guy and look at that guy. That's why I hang out with people like you. So when I go out, people are like, Wow, look how much more handsome dirty he is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Alright, I'm not having fun anymore. I'm no I'm good. So is that a tarot reading? Is that the is that what a tarot reading looks like or what? That is the majority of it. Uh I don't know. I'm getting, I'm a little put off. There's, all right. So if you look What's at What's next? Like, yeah. If you like, whenever I draw, I draw from the top and that's like the future and that's more optimistic. But if you want like a warning, you can look at the bottom. All right. Well, what, we could, we what, could look at the bottom. What you, that would be part of the reading. See, this is all weird because people keep giving me these weird signs all fucking day. So I, I mean... I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be based on this tarot reading a little more open-minded. So, what do we got? Let's take the let's take the warning. Like that was too good of a reading. What do we got on the back yeah. end? Okay, so we're just gonna pull. Okay, look. Um, don't 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 freak out. All right. I hope it comes up on my screen pretty okay. It's the tower card. You guys seeing this? Get a room. You two says the scare lab. Uh, the tower card. So, what does that one mean? Uh, as you can see, it is a. It looks like a big. Man. It looks like a big dick exploding in a naked dude cartwheeling out of the way. Yeah, it's 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 your world falling apart. That's really not good. Um, I mean, I wouldn't worry. I mean, with everything else going on, I wouldn't worry. I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly, yeah, whatever. I, that, I, that's kind of against the tarot rule, so I don't think it really matters anyway. Oh, uh, Redactus, I, what are you guys going on about? Anyway. I mean, may, maybe heed a little caution. To I think we went a little too far. We're getting a little too hocus pocus. Getting right, a little too yeah. hocus pocus here, all right? All right um, yeah. But you know what I You know what I would, would much rather do? What's up? Yeah. Would, would you be interested in playing some... Uh, blood extra crispy with me my friend oh hell yeah yeah we playing some blood extra crispy my fucking chat let's fucking go zombie got him when he comes back <laughs> when he comes back a zombie killed him okay are we cool uh shit uh and now i'm bad um, hey wait a minute oh, oh, wait that was my bad wait do we have friendly fire on i think we have friendly fire on okay hold on yeah, I don't know how it's Friendly going. Fire is on. Yeah, we got we cannot play with Friendly Fire on. That that would be Oh. Oops. Uh I'm sure O'Malley tried to betray me. No, nah, he would he wouldn't do that. He's he's a good good O'Malley. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Shit, there's one rat. There's always just one rat. That's like immune to dynamite. God I'm Yeah, gonna... you're sneaking yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like sliding around dealing with the rats. I fell down throwing dynamite on the rat. Did you release the rats? I I like them. You released the rats and you didn't deal with them? I you know, they're just hanging out. Half-life. Right, oh. Uh, <laughs> I think I got most of them there. And you took all the ammo, you sick fuck. I I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go. I just love watching these guys get crushed. Yeah, I know there's a cultist on my left. I don't want to go that way. Well, that's the way you're going. I'm just gonna force you to go that way. <laughs> go, go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be sneaky, man. <laughs> I'm just like following you, watching you slide around and shoot these guys. It works. I did put that. You have to, I have to let you see it. I think you're... Whoa, what the f... What the f... I've never seen this before. 
The whole halt no. train is filled with like a hundred cultists. Oh, it's because I got the secret. I forgot. Oh my I'm god, so dude. Wait, wait. Uh, go to your right. Oh my god. Okay. Where are we going? I don't know what you're talking about, Unplug. You're, you're making some pretty seriously interesting, interesting claims today. I'm sure the chat is quite concerned about you. Everyone's kind of wondering what's going on with Unplug today. I swear to God, I'm trying to get the. He sent a transmission from his ranger station. Haven't been able to receive it yet. We're, we're, the, the rangers are still decoding it. Oh, I thought there was a thing in. I'm reaching the point where I have to pee so bad that I'm just playing even worse. Yeah. I, I can search while you while you. Right, actually, that's a good idea. I never thought about it. That's yeah. the beauty of. Yeah. Oh, man, I love co-op. More co-op. Emotes. You have all the VR chat? Oh god. Don't kill him. Okay, thank you. Oh no! Oh no! Ah. Worst I guardian I'm ever. <laughs> I took him. I think they keep coming back up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to put pants on. We can't even get My help. Bad. I ran out of ammo. <laughs> I was just like, I have my fish for. Oh. Do you take fall damage and die? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I killed me instantly. Your, your body uh. screamed and crumpled in front of me. <laughs> That was great. That's uh, that was really clever, man. I really appreciate your help again today, O'Malley. This worked out very well, I think. All right, yeah. here we go. I'm happy with how it worked out. Yep. I'm I'm still a little worried. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. I I imagine you'd be like, eh, something about the fucking tower card. It's like I don't know. You're the one that fucking drew it, not me. Yeah. That, yeah. Which, yeah. Probably probably means worse for you. Oh yeah, thanks for having me. This was a lot of fun. And just to be able to show people the power of tarot cards. Thank yeah. you all for being a part of it and staying for that part. I was wondering if his viewer count would just go down to zero and then like <laughs> once it's over it goes back up. I mean once so we started once we started playing blood really people really sunk their teeth in. But uh no, we uh, we did great there, man. I think that was great. No, oh, that's great. Uh I'm getting some weird I'm getting some weird feedback. What's that? I can't really hear you anymore, O'Malley. We're just gonna... We're just... On. No, 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 no. I don't know what O'Malley was talking about there. I don't really understand what he was saying. I think everything is fine. Uh, I think everything is okay. Um, I do think, though... What is going on here? I think I do actually have a call coming in. Do I have... Hold on. Unplug? Is that your? Is that you trying to get in here? Let me. I gotta pause this for a second, guys. Is that unplug? Hello, unplug. Unplug. Guys, just let me. I gotta tune this for a second. I gotta tune this for a second. Uh, we're just doing a mic check. Unplug. Are you in there? Mic check. I think he's trying to get in. Just let me do a bit of this. Unplug? Unplug, what's going on? Unplug, are you there? If there are any remaining ranges out there, please respond. Dirty? Dirty? Are you there? What's going on? Jesus Christ, Dirty, where are you? Unplug! Hey, we're under attack. Tentacle. Team. Unplug. Everywhere. Send help. We're a sushi chef. God. Oh, God. 
Just after my hat soon in me called Viper. If there are any remaining rangers out there, please respond. Dirty? Dirty? Are you there? Unplug, are you okay? Unplug! Jesus Christ, dirty, where are you? Unplug! It's here. We're under attack. Tentacles. See? The message is just Get repeating, me. guys. Send help. We're a sushi chef. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? What the hell was that, guys? Not the Hatsune body pillow. So I'll put some more tunes on here. I think... Guys, I think I gotta take a quick break here. I don't know what that message was from Unplug, but we, we're gonna jump into a quick break. I'm gonna grab a quick snack. I'll be back in maybe 10 minutes or so. Um, please uh, come back and join us then. We will we will catch you on the flip side, guys. I, I, I Sorry about that. That was a... Uh, Kind of a, not the message I usually put on my on my channel. That was strange. minister has released a statement saying he will not beg Dirty Giveaway to return from hiatus, but he does urge him to remember that the people need him. The plot thickens. I can't be sure if Unplug is Unplug or if he's under the influence of some eldritch horror right now. I honestly can't be certain. I don't know if modding him's in my best, uh, in my best interests. We got a very strange call from Unplug earlier. Oh no, there it is. Unplug, if you say Zothamog again, that's another 10 minute timeout, I'm just saying. Elikale, you have free reign to time Unplug out if he says the words Zothamog again. What the fuck? You, <laughs> you monster. We didn't even give him a fighting chance. No. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. Now she's gonna, <laughs> now I'm, t okay, good. You can remove those things. I appreciate that, Ella Kale. Now, now it puts your mod ship in, in question here. Now I'm trying to wonder who is- uh, yeah, my mods are betraying me. Which one of you are part of the dirty side of the rangers or the Zothamog side of the betrayers? Are you part of the Electro Posse or are you, are you a Quake Ranger? We need to know. See, I don't like where Elikale's going with all this power trip right now. Alright, you got trigger happy. That's fine. I, I can appreciate that. It's, it's kind of trying times right now. We've got some pretty concerning, uh, uh, you know, inter interviews that came up earlier. Taking over the stream. Welcome to the Scare Lab, where today we investigate just what is going on with Dirty Giveaway Stream and see if we can answer the question, just who is Zoth of... What do you got there, Scare Lab? Better not be more bullshit. Been a lot of bullshit going around here today at the Dirty Giveaway. A lot of bullshit. It stinks too. It stinks of eldritch friggin' horror issues. And I gotta be honest, I don't really feel ah! I don't really feel like addressing those. Thanks for all the support, guys. You guys are making me happy. I'm sorry, what? I'm being investigated by the scare labs. What the fuck, man? What's going on with my channel today, guys? What's going on with the stream? There's been some really sus activity, I would say. Are the alligate Rodactus, I don't need you in on this. I don't even know what what you would even be referencing when you say something like that. I think it's a little I think it's a little disheartening that your rangers don't have faith in your ranger captain. Uh, ranger captain dirty, my friends. No, no, Zoth. Guys, 
I'm telling you, there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, don't blow me up. <laughs> Disobeying Dirty's will? That's a paddling. Scare Lab is now spamming her investigative... She's like the Chris Hansen of the uh, Eldritch world. Dirty, I'd like for you to take a seat. Were you messaging Eldritch horrors? When you said you wanted to share your balls with them. Do, do, we, do you know what that means? Do you know how old that Eldritch... That Eldritch horror was just a baby. They're only six million years old. And in Eldritch horror, you know, terms... The hell is going on? None of your business. You guys are confusing me. I don't know what's going on anymore. I just want my stream back. Things were fine on Dirty Giveaway until I took a hiatus. I don't really know what's changed. I don't really understand what's changed. Is it you? Is my chat changed? What the heck? What's going on here? Alec, uh, I'm glad that you're kind of managing some of this. Some of these people are getting a little too insane. I don't know what's going on here, guys. You fiend. Someone needs to... Is the, is we need the, that's the mod we need. What happened? Listen. The Zothamog post, I'm telling you guys. Zothamog isn't here. No, don't listen to the hype. Oh, that's right. Big John's at the end of this level, isn't he? Nope. Let me down. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. That's, it's a birthday, it's a birthday zone for birthday partiers only, okay? All this bullshit baloney talk of elder chores, oh no. <laughs> Linko. <laughs> Wait. This isn't the astral realm. Where am I? Dirty giveaway? What, does he, like, never take a shower? Wait a second. Old school FPS? Giveaways? Wake Rangers? Interesting concepts. Wait, he gives away free games? Not dirt. That's even better. You would be a fool not to follow this man. What's the worst that could happen? You get a free game? This might not be the Astral Realm, but a great find, nonetheless. We're going over here. So let's see, can we get, uh, can we get Soapy Bum Slap over here? You're in? I can't hear you, Soapy. Come in. Come there in. you can are. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. This is Ranger Soapy reporting in. Ranger Soapy, how are things on your side of the slipgate, my friend? All clear, baby. All clear. That's what I like. See, guys, Rangers, listen, okay? I just need to let you guys know, Ranger Soapy is exactly the, the type of Ranger we need around here. He's been yeah, watching his slipgates. He's been doing what Ranger Dirty does. And what Ranger Dirty does is good, guys. It's good. Um, and none of this fucking bullshit about goddamn Zotha Mog. You guys are kind of dominating the chat with it, and I'm just kind of tired of it. Sorry to rant on you there, Soapy, but the chat's been getting a little uh, underappreciative about the birthday, and they're getting overappreciative of some bullshit folklore. Zotha Mog. So how you, you been? You know what I say? Yeah. I say, don't worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. Guys, see, this is this is why I wanted Soapy Bum Slap on stream. Not because he's a yes man. Definitely not because he's a yes man. That's kind of just, you know, agreeing with me despite uh, some other ulterior. It, it doesn't really matter. He supports me like a friend, like the rest of you motherfuckers should be supporting me. Unplug the Scare Lab. I see you guys in there. Uh, let's, uh, let's post this to social. Live now. 
Watch out for splitter goo. The longer you stand in it, the more damage it does to you. You see that YouTube video that Scary keeps posting on the channel? I've seen it. Don't know what that's all about. No idea. Scary, like like, she's been going on about tentacles in the tower. I get it. You guys saw the tower and you're giving me a hard time about the tarot reading from like fucking, I don't know. How many hours ago was that? Like seven hours ago? How can you guys even remember what happened seven hours ago? Um, I made such a, a bad decision here. Yeah. Oh no. Elikale's getting spicy. <laughs> the Zoth talk is getting a little too serious for Elikale. I gave Elikale the power. I said, listen, if some chatters seem to be going a bit on too much about Zoth Amog, they got to get muted. You know, they got to calm down. Realize you can't just talk about Zoth Amog. If you guys say it, you make it real. And that's what becomes scary, you know? Pipe bomb out. Don't take that pipe bomb. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. I got a quartz flask. All right, next save room. We have to do a shot for the quartz flask. For okay. Elikale. I'll protect myself against Zoth. All right, guys. You guys are getting pretty serious. Maybe I should actually start listening to some of this shit. Maybe opposed to just ignoring nine hours of people warning me that there's some, you know, bad omens. Maybe I just spend about five minutes listening to some of that shit. I don't know. Holy shit, I got a call coming in, guys. Give me a second here. Give me a second here, guys. I feel like, whoa, hold on. This is, uh, I think I got a call. You guys have to give me a second here. Am I, am I looking at this right? Holy shit, guys. Animal, is that you? Ranger, finally I get a hold of you. What the fuck have you been doing? Ray, what do you mean? We've been having a normal ass stream, Animal. It's fucking great. What's going on? Nice seeing you, my friend. You having a good day? What do you mean, what do I mean? You've been lollygagging, playing games, eating bananas, and giving away steam keys while everyone been trying to warn you, brother. What are they? Listen, I've been trying to listen. There's too much spam. I don't know what you're talking about. And at this point in time, I don't know if I really give a shit, animal. Now listen to me. You left the slip gates open for hours now. Zodamog and his armies are almost upon us, you dim-witted man-child. The you need to do something about it right now. Fucking excuse me? I don't know if I can tolerate this type of behavior on my channel, animal. I invited you here for a nice hello. What? <laughs> you heard me, brother. Now, animal out. Ah, oh, fuck. What the fuck was that, guys? Are you guys telling me I actually have to fucking do something for once? You're telling me... You guys... Are you guys fucking telling me that dirty fucking giveaway... Oh, no, don't tell me my stream crashed. No, there we go. That dirty fucking giveaway has got... Has got to stand up. That dirty giveaway... Has got to has got to show you guys oh what Lord. it's like Stupid to be a Quake Ranger. Attention. Are you guys ready? World leaders today pleaded for calm as tensions continue to reach a boiling point around the globe. Sources say unrest could destabilize the entire world economy and plunge us into an unprecedented dark age, heralding the return of Zotha Mog. What little is known about this being is hotly debated, with the populace being near evenly split between dirty stands and amog stands. One anonymous source blamed the recent outbreaks of hot grumbosis, while others say it is merely due to dirty's laziness. One thing is for certain, the clock is ticking, and if Ranger Dirty doesn't take action soon, the entire world will fall under the heat. Blood co-op always brings the nostalgia, and betrayals always remind us of the eldritch miasma. Some rangers are fueled on poutine, others have a Hatsue pillow. Meanwhile, Dirty awaits his E1 M1 magazines and dreams of smilk, quads, and vanishing villains. Thanks for being here and for sharing in this journey. And remember, folks, if it ain't dirty, it ain't worthy. We love you, Dirty.
doctor, but if you just fucking say without me, rage or dirty, I will have you know I graduated top of my class at the Eldridge Academy, and I've been involved in numerous secret raids on Insith, and I have over 3 million confirmed kills. I am trained in trans reality warfare and in the top sniper in the entire US armed forces. You are nothing to me but just another worthless ranger. I will wipe you the fuck out with precision the likes of which has never been seen before on this earth. Mark my fucking words. You think you can get away with saying that shit to me over the internet? Think again, pretty. As we speak I am contacting my secret network of spies across the realms and your IP is being traced right now so you better prepare for the storm, Maggot. The storm that wipes out the pathetic little thing you call your life. You're fucking dead, pretty. I can be anywhere, anytime, and I can kill you in over 700 ways, and that's just with my slippery tentacles. Not only am I extensively trained in norm combat, but I have access to the entire arsenal of my dad, pretty, and I will use it to its full extent to wipe you. Oh, shit, Danny! Danny, one second! One second, Danny!